In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create email marketing campaigns and connect you to your Sales Funnel 5 and welcome to this channel. First, we need to create email list, but with system IO is known as tags. And the reason why you want to do that is because as you can see here, contacts, if you don't have tags, which is the email list, all your emails and captured will go into contact in the future if you want to promote any offer. It's going to be confusing to know the specific people you have to promote it to. So over contact, then click on tags, click on create, or name it newsletter, and say that's about it. I'm done with the tag. Now go back to my sales funnel. Make sure you select the right funnel that you want to link it to. This box on newsletter, automation rule. So add the trigger. Apply this rule when panel step form subscribe. Click on it. Action, you don't have to click save, you're not done yet. Please don't make that mistake. Click on add action, then click on add tag. That means add tag to a contact. So like I said, yes, everything will be under a specific contact list. Tag, choose newsletter, then click save rule. Place here, this is done. Next, we have to start creating our campaigns. To start, hover over emails and campaigns. Under emails, you have newsletter, and you have campaigns. The newsletter is if you want to send one child email to all your subscribers, it's called email blast, but that's not what we want. We need campaigns, create campaigns, create campaign. I need to name the campaign. The campaign is about legendary marketer. It's a special affiliate program. Yes, you know, this is the name of the campaign, all right? You can add description, but in this particular tutorial, I don't want to. Yeah, in most cases, you don't really need it always. Save. Let's say in future, if I want to create how to lose weight email campaign, and I'll come back, click on create. If I want to add affiliate marketing campaign, I'll click create and I'll add it. Now, for legendary marketer, I have to go in and start creating my emails. Click on it and create email. Click create. All right, for subject, I'll go back to my email swipe. And I'll copy this subject, control C, go back here, drop it, and I'll change the caps to small base. This will prevent it from looking like a spam. Yeah, because Google is a bit picky about this thing. And I can add laughing emoji, right click emoji, and right, just to make it look attractive. Then send a name, success page, but people know me as Blobstorm, I can say Blobstorm and success page.io. Yeah, because I want people to recognize the Blobstorm that is me and in the future, if they get to know, and I'll take off the Blobstorm and I'll keep the success page. Like I told you earlier on, you need to connect your professional email address, because if not, you cannot run this thing successfully. Then you can choose either the visual editor or the classic editor. But I prefer the classic editor, as you can tell, because I use it often. It's now my default. Because the classic editor is simple. To save, the campaign name is Legendary Marketer. Then this is the first email. This is my subject. Now I'm going to add my content. I'll go back. Highlight everything up to here. Right mid, copy, go back, click here. One thing you can do also is click here, push it down, and go up. And you can say, hi space and you can add add substitute variables click here and click first name it's up to you if you want first and last name you can choose whatever you want company name whatever it's really good when you have it like this because it makes it look more personal social media page or whatever you want to connect your prospect to copy now go back copy my admin link go back highlight and click on the link Paste it and save. And I'll highlight again and I'll go to the. Yeah, I need to find the color. Open background color. No, I won't test color. I'll use red because red is always our style. I like and bold it. This is my first email. If I can click on save or save and publish, I'll click save first. This is the first one. All right. I'll add another one because we are inside the legendary marketer campaigns. Click on create. Then we have to follow the same process, subjects and the rest. So I'll go back, scroll down, the key to feed over right now. Paste, nah, I'll change this to now. Now I need to look to freedom, 
Yeah, I'll add for this uh, freedom. All right, we are still on the classic editor. I'll change this to Twelve Stone and successpin.io. Save. I'm gonna copy the test. Look, you do the screen. Okay, I drop me. Copy back. Be here. Right. I will grab my earthly link again. Go back. I like. And you click on the link. Paste it. Save. For the color. For color. Click on the item menu. Click on A. And I'm gonna use green this time around. Oh, but this one is not standing now. That's why I like using. That's why I like using red. Because red doesn't disappoint. And I'll save. Like I said, you can save and publish, but it's up to you. Now I'm gonna you can add as much as you want. Now I'm gonna go in and add the timeline. So save and publish. Then ignore this for the press email. Then I'll instead of zero, I'll say sorry one and i'll change this to minutes the reason why i'm doing this is because i want them to sign up to my new submitter and after they sign up i'm gonna take my cosplay to a thank you page and there's something on the thank you page i'm giving them one minute to process that information or to in order to make a decision i'll give i'm giving them one minute to do and after this email will pop up time when emails will be sent i don't want to worry about that Days of the week, this email should be sent. Don't worry about this date. This is more for my like business meetings and stuff. Activate. It's activated. Let's go back. As you can tell, it's activated. Now, let's go back to the second one. Let's activate the second email. Click on it. Save and publish. Now, choose after which email to add this one. You can choose after the first email. It means they have to click and read. I don't normally apply this option because who knows, maybe my second email will catch their attention. And besides, I'm promoting the same product anyway. I'll leave it first. I don't want to ruin my chances. Then, all right, if the first one is today, the second one should be either the next day or two days after. This shouldn't be hours or minutes, it should be days. That means the next day they will receive another email again. We can do that all the way to seven or whatever number of times you want. Then, time when email should be sent, I don't want that. And this, because you can time people's time zone. It's always good to be there. And I'll save it, activate. When you go back, as you can tell, it yeah, will activate. The last thing you have to do is to go back to your funnel or your landing page or your sales funnel or whatever page you are, whatever page you want to connect this to. I'll go to automation rules. Now, as you can tell, I have my tag for contacts. Now I'm going to add the email sequence. Click on add row. Page visited. Click on it. I miss when the page is visited already. Then add action. Then subscribe to campaign. This is what you want. The first one we chose add a tag. But this time is subscribe to a campaign or subscribe to campaign. It means subscribe to email sequence. That's what it is. Click on it and choose it. And remember, we name it Legendary Marketing, right? Click here and click City. As you can tell, we have our contact tags connected and we have our email campaigns. This is what it is. And this is how you go about it. Go back to steps and go back to auto automation rules again, just to make sure everything is intact. This is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for your time. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.